This video is standards of the a and 5. Hello, I'm Daniel Davey. Now, we're, um, we're thrown into this life and what are we here for? What are we supposed to do? Now, the Rainbow Torah is Genesis 1, 1 to 11, 9. That gives us information on our origins, the early years of humanity. So there it is, God exists. He's, he existed eternally, probably at slumber to start with, at rest, and then he started contemplating and doing things with his first thoughts, as it were, or first contemplations. So he'd, he'd been at rest eternally, he filled the universe, and he'd been at rest forever. Then he contemplated, because he finally decided to contemplate, well, it, it arose in him, and he brought forth creation. And... The, the, the early history of God's creation, this this world we live in, is shown in Genesis 1, 1 through to Genesis 11, 9. That's a foundational covenant book of information and knowledge on human society and God's basic mor moral code for us, because it's a moral code which comes with the Rainbow Torah. Now, since the Tower of Babel incident, thousands of years ago, about 4,000 4, years ago, something like that, um, um, approximately, um, mankind has developed and complexified it's one of my lovely words society has become a lot more complex and there's a lot more of us there's about 7.3 7.4 billion which is 1,000 million a billion is 1,000 million in that terminology people on the planet at the moment the, 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 there's an increasing rate as well of growth so it's, it's still increasing as well now that means there's been a, a few billion who've died and um uh, uh, who've gone off to the, the shell, the world of the dead, or the next world, the afterlife, or heaven, or whatever it is, whatever awaits them. But um, there's currently about seven and a half billion just about people on the planet. And this world is a complex world made up of countries, which are made up of provinces and states and territories and things. And we represent in uniting the countries of the United Nations, just about every country. And... Um, there's tiny little micro-nations, which are independent things. But there's only a few people in that. Well, there's, there's, there's a number of them. But, um, the, the, because the UN says you can write to self-determination, self so some people go off and form micro-nations and just tiny little nations which aren't part of the UN. But generally, most of us are represented by a nation of sorts, and um, we find our place in, in this nation which we're part of. And we're born into a family... And by the time we're five or six, we're playing around with our dolls and our toy cars and playing sports and doing all sorts of wonderful things. And then, then in 15, oh, here we are, what do we do? You know, you know, this is life. You've just realized that this is life. How did I get here? Well, the Bible actually tells the truth about it. God made you. God made you. And here you are. And this is the complex world. And if you, you want to know the history of the world, that's one of the standards of the ANM. One of the standards of the ANM is that we encourage learning and taking in knowledge and understanding of life and this world and its history. Study is one of the standards of the ANM. We learn about the history of mankind. We buy books especially for our collections and we encourage library collections for members of the ANM to learn about how we got all all got here the formations of nations, the formations of culture, the formations of societal institutions, the formations of authoritarians and governments and things, and famous people and their inventions, and cultural things, and artists, and music, and all the things which have shaped our world to where we are today. There's a huge amount of it. You could never get through it, through it in a standard lifetime. Just couldn't do it. But um, So you have to specialise somewhat, but... Uh, Something like the Times book on the history of the world, the complete history of the world from ta the Times, which is an English newspaper. That's a large book, which I'd recommend. Um, there's many editions of it. I'd recommend getting that. That's that's a Bible to me in some ways on the on the history of the world, the complete history of the world. Uh, a, a good encyclopedia, like the World Book Encyclopedia or Encyclopedia Britannica, if you can afford a published edition of that, that's definitely the kind of asset you want in your family and you want for yourself to own. They're the kind of things you might not get through in this life, but in, 
in, in eternity, however shape it is, it's knowledge to own. See, one of the standards of A&M, as I've just said, is that we, we try to understand how, how this world is, how it works, how it all fits together, and the history of it all, to get a broad understanding of what life is. To get a broad understanding of what life is. Now, from all those examples of personages and historical people throughout history, and for in this modern world, in this current history, we see the things that we do, that people do. What do we as humans do? We have our moral compass from the scripture, and what do we do? Look around you, look at what everyone does. That's what we all do. Find something to do which they do is generally the way to go. I've said it before, if you can afford to do not much, if you've got your life taken care of in a way, and if you can afford to do not much, and you're content to do not much, then do not much, if you can afford it. But otherwise, normally, you're going to have to find something to do, and usually it's going to have to have an income for a job. You're usually going to have to do a job, or some sort of creative talent thing, uh, a business or something which is going to give you prosperity. And you probably, you'll normally want family. So, one of the standards of the a &M is that we learn how society works. We learn, we learn the knowledge of the history of the world and how it all fits together. We take in the knowledge books of mankind. Things which are passed by the censorship boards are usually okay enough. Not everything's perfect, but usually it's okay enough in the general judgments of the advanced moment. The library is full of books which you can borrow and read. The, the kind of books which go into a library Usually they're, they're um, acceptable enough for society to study. We recommend that too. We take part in society's institutions and conventions. The Western world is generally fine enough for the A&M people. So there's all the books to learn. We take that knowledge in and we understand it all. And when we understand it all, which is an ongoing thing throughout life, because you'll never really end, you've got to still study, study and learn. We, we, we respond to that and we find out place in the world. As um, the Christian evangelist, evangelical singer Michael W. Smith sings, a place in this world, a place in this world, it's about finding a place in this world, finding where you fit, where you belong, and how you, you can make your contribution if that's what you want to do, or what you can get from this world, because it's there to help you as well, and how you fit and how you become part of it all. They're the decisions you must make. But in the A&M, what, what we teach is that learn it all. Study how this world all works and it all fits together and then become part of it. In some way, become part of this world and try and leave a legacy. At the end of your days, try and have a legacy to leave as well. Something you can leave mankind which show that you played your part. Gandhi said it, which is quoted a lot, be the change you want to see in the world. If you're, you're an idealist and you want to make the world a better place, then be that change yourself. Live it for your example, what you want this world to adopt. If you want the world to be like that, you live it yourself. And if everyone lived what they thought was good, probably and hopefully the world would be a better place. So, um, the standard of the a &M, this is standards of the a &M 5, is lifelong learning to understand this life of the world, lifelong accumulation of knowledge books and cultural items for the enrichment of your life and to contribute somehow to, to play your role in the grand scheme of things and how you fit in in doing the things which we do. Be original if you can, carve out a new niche of knowledge or information if you can, if that's your inclination, otherwise do something which is sound and sensible this is life, go get it.